so glad to be here uh, this morning. I missed y'all last week. I said I missed y'all last week. I missed y'all. Y'all didn't miss me, but I missed y'all. Amen. God is good and he's bringing to you praise. Thank you, first of all, so very much uh, for being here last week and taking good care of my pastor and friend, uh, Elder John Black. Amen. Uh, Amen. He, he gave his testimony when we were both. He didn't give it, though. He didn't give it. All right. Well, uh, he tried to downplay it, but we were both in the music industry together. He was a prolific writer uh, for a group called The Gap Band. Amen. So uh, we thank God uh, for him he, uh, and his dad, uh, yeah. Pastor. He was a uh, organ player for uh, the late as a young kid uh -huh. uh, for the late Catherine Coolman. Yeah. Right, all right. And for uh, uh, he had played uh, with um, uh, either Old Roberts or um, uh, what's the other one's name? Billy Green. So uh, he is no novice to uh, music and the music genre, both gospel and the secular. And so we thank God for him. Amen, amen. So we thank God for him. Amen, and amen. His ministry, he has a project that he's working on now. Uh, everything has become so, uh, what do you call it, uh, electronic. Yes. Uh, he has a, a song out uh, on YouTube, and I said, "Well, you, you transferred and moved into the the current generation now." Amen, 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 amen. But I saw something. You you know, history does repeat itself. Yes, yeah. yes. And and Bishop, I was surprised. Somebody sent me an article. Uh, they bring it vinyl back. Yeah. And I said. They bring it vinyl back. So all then I looked. Uh, uh, I don't know if it's Target or one of the outlets now are selling uh, uh, record players. And I said, well, you know what? All of my old Dusties is sitting in storage. Yeah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Some of them, some of the records are so old. They were outdated before a track that said R C D came. And I said, I, I, I wish I could find a way, uh, uh, Mother Darby, how I could transform from my vinyl uh, to this new modern technology. Amen. Uh, and uh, they said, well, you can go online. I said, no, some of these songs ain't online. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So they got the record player out, so I'll uh, try to invest in me a record player so I can listen. Uh, to some of my old, uh, yes, uh, yes. old, uh, uh, old, <laughs> old, uh, uh, thank you, sir. Uh, 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 78s and 33s. Amen, amen. Come on now, somebody amen, know what I'm My 45s got to find a little disc to put on the inside. Yeah, yeah. Watch it drop down right. so I can hear that crackling sound oh, yeah. before they start singing. Yeah. So I don't know nothing about it. Yeah. 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 Big technology that sounds so crystal clear at yeah. yeah. the moment. Yeah. 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 I come up in a time where you had to hear that. Yeah. Yeah. And then they start singing. Yeah. And, and, and fortunately, during that time, they were real singers. Amen, amen. Got that right. Y'all ain't hear that. I'm talking, about, I'm talking about real singing. What you heard on the record, you heard them when they performed live. They, they didn't have all this tweaking technology that you can turn it now and, 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 and make them sound uh, uh, so rich and so sweet. Uh, what you got that night is what you got. Amen. real good singing. I remember on an occasion, uh, the late, great Sammy Davis Jr. Uh, was in Vegas and uh, uh, he was having problems with his throat. And uh, uh, he tried the first song and a half and it didn't work. 
And unlike these performers today that just won't even show up, yeah. uh, Sammy Davis Jr. Uh, told them, said, all right, uh, this ain't gonna be good tonight, so what I'm gonna do, I'm paying for the whole house. And all he right. paid for everybody's food that night. Amen, wow. amen. But that's the difference in professional. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, Lord, yes. yes. <laughs> that's the difference between professionalism right. and people that just want to get paid. That's and you, right. Uh, 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 some, of these, some of these artists, when they're performing, they sing two or three words and then ha! Yes, yes, yes. The same I didn't, I didn't come to sing. I came to hear you sing. Don't sing two or three words and then yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> sing. If I, if I wanted to hear myself sing, I'd have stayed in one for free. Right, right, amen, right. amen, amen, amen. You could have put on the CD and sang along with the CD, but I ain't paid no hundred fifty dollars. Sit down there and then you go. Hallelujah. <laughs> right. You say, I'm right. going to hear you say. Right. But uh, the times are changing, but we yeah, thank yeah, God yeah. Uh, uh, again that God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Yes, yes. Amen. He said, I'm God and I change not. And I'm so glad uh, because people will change up on you. Hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah. People let you. Some people that you thought you knew within the middle of a conversation, you sat in there like, who is that talking? <laughs> Can't be the same person I thought I was talking to. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, we have a God that sits high, looks low, and he knows yeah. what we're going through. Yes, yes. And he said this, in which I'm grateful. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Some yeah, folks yeah. looking for a reason to leave you. This, none of us are perfect. Amen. Amen. As sweet, as wonderful, as tall, dark, and handsome, as short, dumpy, and fat as you might be, ain't none of us perfect. Amen. 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 Thank God that He looked beyond my faults and He saw all my needs. Amen. So thank God for each one of you being here. Good to see El Price here this morning. Always glad to see Mother Darby. Amen. 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 I'm glad to see y'all with all four of my eyes. Amen. Thank you so very much for being here on today. We're getting ready to receive our offering and then our message will come immediately. Follow me. I uh, want to thank each one of you for your giving and your sacrifices up to the Lord. Uh, however, we do need your finances. Nope. Yeah. Oh, I can't do that. Well, why is it quiet? I said, we do need your finances. Amen. Amen. I'm going to say something. Don't care who like it and who don't like it. All right. I was working a couple of Sundays ago at the forum, and a popular uh, singer was there, and he charged the people. The first event was free. And they came and filled up the form. The next event he charged them fifty-three dollars, and 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 his meal that he was soliciting to come was something that came out of Jack in the Box. And by the time it got to the people, it was cold. Amen. The third time he was at the form, he charged one hundred dollars. <coughs> the place was almost packed out. And I stood there in awe and amazement and said, they will come to a place like this, <laughs> Hallelujah. pay one hundred dollars, yeah. and the singing is fair. There's a lot of the, a lot of the, lot of the children and a lot of the young people uh, in this city sang in that choir. The music is phenomenal, but they paid one hundred dollars, and and the minister, which was a nice. A uh, 12 minute Joel Osteen type message. And people will get mad if you ask them for $20. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In church. Yes, yes. They will pay $100 mm -hmm. to go to the forum. And if you ask for $20 in church, 
the first thing is they always asking for money. Amen. Oh, amen. I forgot to add, you had to pay for parking too. Amen. <laughs> and they had, they had, they had, they had, uh, Sister Brian, they had a, a, a hoodie that they were selling $160. Yeah. Wow. And the line was going all around for a hoodie. So you paid $100 to get in, plus the cost of parking, and $160 just for a hoodie. But then they come and say, why does the church always beg for money? It is a it is a sad indictment. Yes, yes. That people would go to that, and I and there's uh, the other night this MTA agent uh, was standing next to me, and uh, she was just I mean I can't wait I can't wait, and I said <laughs> wait for what? <laughs> so the singing was just this and the singing was that. I'm like, okay. I'm, I'm waiting to hear what she's going to say about the word. Yeah, yeah. And the singing was this, oh, and it took me back because I grew up Catholic and, and next door was this church. And me and my brother used to sneak and go to the church because the music was so good. Never once did she say anything about the word. Never once did she say she even joined that ministry. Yeah, yeah. But she just was there for the singing. Yeah. And singing is great, it's wonderful, love it, it has its place. Yeah. But when it's all said and done, mm -hmm. give me the word. Yeah. 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 So we're going to ask that you would be liberal in your giving on this morning. As again, we're coming to the close. We're going to rapidly come to this year's go. Yeah. Amen. This Amen. This year is gone. Thursday we will be celebrating Thanksgiving and I hope that really every day is a day of Thanksgiving. Yeah, amen. Yes, yes. Amen. Not just because amen. the world is set aside to make it a holiday, but every day you yes. get up is a day of Thanksgiving. Yes, yes. You have a roof over your head. It's a day of Thanksgiving. You have clothes on your back. Yes, yes. It's a day of Thanksgiving. You have food to eat. It's a day of things. You have your right mind. Yeah, Lord. It is a day of things. You have health. No matter how many aches and pains we have. Uh, uh, I, I've learned uh, Sister Darby from, from complaining uh, to say, Lord, you know what? I'm thankful for, to be alive to feel the pain. All right, all right. So I've I, I learned uh, to be more thankful than to be more complaining. Amen. Right. Right. Worst right. case scenario, go to your favorite little medicine place and pull out your accepting PM and go yeah. about your business. Right. Right. Amen. Amen. Stop complaining. Yeah. Right. Take the aches and pains that goes along uh, with it. The older I get, the more pains I feel. So right. uh, one thing for sure, I know I'm alive. That's right. for sure. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. All right, we got offering to lift toward heaven. We ask. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you right now, even for the opportunity to give. It's more blessed to give than to receive. We ask right now that you would take our carnal substance, press down, shake it together, and run it over. So men given to our bills of return it some 46, then 100 fold. Not always in money, Hallelujah. but if you Hallelujah. give us some good health. Yes, yes, yes. Not always in money. Mm. But if you help our children to stay safe, Hallelujah. not always in money, yes. but if you just continue to walk with us and talk with us day to day, and we'll be thankful in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, you're in the hands of the ushers. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand of praise for our ushers. Big that with him we cannot fail, we shall not lose. Yeah. Sometimes
sometimes it looks like the battle may have been won, but at the end it's all about the war. And God never loses a war. He might make you look like you won the battle, but he's always coming back for a war. We serve a big God. We're going to come to all the songs. We're going to ask that you stand on your feet and engage with us and catch the song. This is, this is what I call an ABC song. It's real simple. Not too many words, but it's so powerful. Yeah. The words in it, the message of it, the purity of the song. We're going to come and say how big our God is. Yeah,
not how big the dog is that's in the fight, but it's how big the fight is in the dog. Hallelujah. It's not how big the dog is that's in the fight, it's how big the fight is that's in the dog. Amen. Amen. If your God is a big God, then you don't have to worry because uh, he's never lost a battle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, as it was said, he never lost a war. Yes, yes. We all have battles, but God always makes us victorious in winning the war. Yes, 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 yes. Amen. I encourage you to stay afterwards for uh, Sunday school. Sunday school out here uh, and have witnessed has been very, very, very engaging. Hallelujah. Well. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. Hallelujah. So we want to thank our Sunday school facilitator for being so uh, uh, splendiferous in her presentation. Amen. On Amen. Each Book of Ephesians chapter number 4, verses 1 through 3. Ephesians chapter number 4, verses 1 through 3. Paul writes to the church at Ephesus and says the following words. And therefore, the prisoner of the Lord beseech you to walk worthy of the calling with which you were called. How are you going to do it? With all lowliness and gentleness, with long suffering, bearing with one another in love. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. Um, I want to talk just for a few moments about the five steps to Christian peace. Hallelujah. Five steps to Christian peace. We will be seated in the presence of the Lord. Father, we thank you so much for this choice, chance, and opportunity to declare the riches of your word. Now let the meditation, our words, meditation of our heart and our words be acceptable to thy sight. O oh Lord, our strength and our redeemer, wash us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Forgive us our sins. Hide us behind the cross so they see that's of me and more of thee. In the name of he who gave all, Christ Jesus. Amen. Yeah, uh, Ephesians is a very, I, I love this book because Paul explains this, especially in the first three chapters Amen. concerning just what Jesus did. Yeah. How he bled, he suffered, bled, and he died yeah. on the cross for our redemption. Yeah. He explains to them the magnitude of God's love through Jesus Christ and to be thankful of the many marvelous things that Christ did for us. All right. Amen. Oftentimes we don't consider we become a little lax in our thought, our recognition and our ability to use our cognitive thoughts concerning our salvation mm. and how that we were strangers to the cross, we were foreigners to heaven, mm. and yet Jesus came all the way down through 40 and two generations Amen. Amen. to redeem a wretched soul like me. Yes, yes. To really stop and think and not to become so consumed with this world. Yes, yes. And the cares and the affairs of this world that oftentimes mislead, misguide, and misappropriate our thoughts toward him. 
it's good to read and really understand and grasp the magnitude of what Christ did for us. Right. Not from a standpoint of being ritual, but learning how to be rich in yes. him. Yes. Right. Yes. And all of us, all of us have had thoughts and desires to be rich, but we forgot how rich we really are in Christ. Paul's letter addresses the matter and describes the church at Ephesus who was financially well off. Yes, yes. And oftentimes during Paul's ministerial campaign was in need of financial resources and they were free to give and to send to aid him, but now he re returns the thought pattern and transposes financial wealth into spiritual wealth. Amen, amen. He lets them know because they were living like beggars, not recognizing their riches or wealth in Christ, to think about where God had brought them from. And every now and then we ought to take and recount, see where we were, yes. Yes. see where we are, yes. and thank God to know that the same God is taking us somewhere. Yes. That is true. It is, it, is, it is critical, it is critical because everybody thinks that they want to be rich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, they think they want to be rich. Amen, amen. The first that I know of, African American, to win the lottery, Mr. Leroy Jones, uh, won this large amount of money mm. and within three years was broke. Amen, uh, amen. Because Leroy didn't understand the value of money. Amen. Yeah. Leroy went out, <coughs> bought him a big, long cat. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Leroy decked that Cadillac out <laughs> on the inside with mink. Hallelujah. Then Leroy went out and got him a long mink coat. Hallelujah. <laughs> so he had the mink interior of that long put his mink coat on and got in his long Cadillac with yeah. mink lining. Uh -huh. Then Leroy went out and bought him a couple of diamond rings. Amen, amen. <laughs> Leroy had a long Cadillac, mink <laughs> interior, mink coat, yeah, yeah. and a couple of diamond rings. Mm. Then Leroy's girl came out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Amen, amen. Wanted to share and ride in that long Cadillac. Yeah, wow. With me <laughs> lining. And had Leroy in a long mink coat with diamond rings and said, Leroy, I can't ride in this car if I don't have a long fur coat. Too. Amen, amen. <laughs> And while you're buying the fur coat, Leroy, why don't you buy me a diamond ring? <laughs> so you got a long Cadillac with <laughs> fur interior. Yes, yes. You got a long fur coat, a couple of diamond rings, and he had his lady with a fur coat and diamond rings too. Said so Leroy, we ought to drive this Cadillac and go to the finest restaurant. So Leroy and his long Cadillac, mm -hmm. with the 
fur interior, his long fur coat, diamond rings, and his girl was with him with fur coat and diamond rings. And they decided it's winter time, we can't go to the finest restaurant unless we got a fur hat. <laughs> they stepped out of that long Cadillac with all the fur interior, the fur coats on the diamond rings, and the fur hat, and parked it in front of one of the most expensive, exclusive restaurants. Amen. They went inside, and as you would know, they looked definitely out of place. Amen. And they wanted a choice table in the house, and then they ordered champagne <laughs> and a long Cadillac, <laughs> fur coats and hats and diamond rings. And they thought that that's the way life was supposed to be Amen. on a day-to-day -day basis. <laughs> Never investing or understanding the real significance of money. Amen. Yes. Amen. So what long after you live a life like that, you spend in money every day. Yes. 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 Foolishly. Yes. Yes. That's right. That within three years, mm -hmm. Leroy was broke. Amen. Amen. So now, you know what has to happen. <laughs> Leroy got the sale. The diamond ring. Yes, yes, yes. Leroy got to sell that fur coat. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Got to sell that fur hat. Now, I don't know what happened to the lady. I'm pretty sure she took off with the fur coat hat and diamond rings. And Leroy had to sell that cat. Yes, yes. Back to zero. Because Leroy didn't understand what true riches were. The truth of the matter is, brothers and sisters, we are really richer than what we think. Hallelujah, hallelujah, yes, hallelujah. We, 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 really, we really are, as you look at the calamity that's going across this country, how many, how many of y'all are, are just nerve-wracked and, and just fizzled and frazzled by everything you see on the news with that's what's going on with our government? I'm not. I'm not at all. Yes, sir. Because of, even though it has an effect indirectly, yes, sir. it does not directly affect me because my trust is in God. So to the matter is, brothers and sisters, whether you believe it or not, I declare this day I am richer than the Rockefellers. I'm richer than the Kennedys. Yes, yes, yes. I'm really richer than Warren Buffett and the late T. Boone Pickett. As a matter of fact, I'm richer than Bill Gates. It's not in what I have accumulated that will be destroyed. But what I have accumulated will take me throughout all eternity. Because my riches are in Christ Jesus. Uh, the truth of the matter is, I have right now a heavenly bank account. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I got a heavenly bank account. Uh, this, this, this bank account I have will never be depleted. It has nothing to do with the NASDAQ or Wall Street. It has nothing to do with the New York Stock Exchange. It does not have anything to do with this worth wealth of the world. Matter of fact, uh, the wealth that I have, I can access it anytime. Huh? I, I, I have immediate access to it. Yes. Yes. Now think about this wealth that I have and the riches I have. Guess what? I'm glad you asked. 
I don't have to worry about my riches going into depression. And it won't have to worry about a recession. Because of what he gave to me. One of the first things that he gave to me was adoption. I was adopted into a heavenly royal family. Not only do I have an adoption, I have an acceptance. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. I've been accepted. What? You've been accepted? Yes, I'm yes. in a royal family. Yes. That was not bought with gold or silver, but was with purchased by the blood of Jesus Christ. Yes. Not only did he afford me Adoption and acceptance. He gave me something else that's very, very rich, and that is redemption. Yes, yes, yes. I've been redeemed yes, by the blood of the Lamb. And along with redemption, guess what else he did? He did something that a lot of folks never do. He gave me forgiveness. Of all my sins and transgressions against God, He has given me forgiveness. Yes, not yes. just being forgiven, but forgiveness. Yes. Meaning that not only has He forgot given me for what my past sins were, yes. but what I've done now and what will come ahead, He's already given it to me. Yes. I don't know about you, but that, that, that's good news to know that I've been yeah. forgiven. Along with being forgiven, he's given me wisdom. He's given me the wisdom to know that Christ has made a difference yeah, in yeah. my life. Yes, yeah. yes, Lord. And now, along with wisdom, guess what? I got. I've been inherited. I got. A, I have an inheritance. You know. You know. Everybody looks to have an inheritance. Well, not everybody. Uh, 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 put it like this. Most folks look. For you to be dead because you more valuable to them dead than life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the reason why I say that, don't get nervous. Everybody that got an insurance policy, folks, are sitting there waiting for you to die. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The children are waiting for you to die. Hallelujah. The grandchildren are waiting for you to die. Hallelujah. The great grandchildren are waiting for you to die. Yeah. And when you're gone, they want to fight over what you left them. And if you don't leave them nothing, then you're the worst grandparent in the world. <laughs> Children start squabbling, well, you know, they would have wanted me to have this. That was my favorite AT. Oh, that was my, my, my uncle used to take me fishing. He would want me to have that fishing pole. Well, I know Granny left me something because, you know, she used to wear pearl necklaces. So I just come to get the pearl necklaces and, and the earrings. Go. I see, I, 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 he didn't leave that kind of inheritance. He left me an inheritance that goes far beyond this world. Yes, yes, yes. A place that's not made by hands. A place that fire can't burn up. I'm, I'm not knocking the people that, and, and that, that moved away out of our neighborhood into neighborhoods that could get burned up. I, I've never been able to understand that. Uh, you don't like me that bad yeah. that you'll move up and take yeah. your risk with a fire. Yeah. Or you move somewhere where there are floods. Yeah. And every year in California, there are fires. Yeah. Every year after the fire, it didn't take long for the rain to start falling. Yeah. And they were sandbagging their little place and talking about, here come the floods. Yeah. I'm not going nowhere that I can't live my life in freedom yeah. and in joy. Yeah. 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 All right. I'm living in a time where people have forgotten how important and how rich you really are. Yes, yes. Christ has given us yes. the best. When, yes. when the Lord God Almighty sent his son, he sent us heaven's best. Yes, yes, yes. I, I had something to pop up. You know, these phones are getting on my nerves. Yeah, every day is a pop up. Yeah, yeah, they, thank you, Bishop. They so smart, they stupid. Every day is a pop up. The other day, uh, 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 a pop up came in my phone talking about uh, 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 download this app and you can get 10% off of, of going to Nordstrom. Who said I was going to 
Go on to Norman Street. Yeah. How did you get my name to pop up yeah. and for me to come to Nordstrom? And when I'm, and the Nordstrom that I know is, is expensive. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I'm talking about the one out there in the other place called the Grove. Yeah. This is the Grove, but there's got a place out there called the Grove. But really, people don't know that this is the Grove right yeah. here. Off. That's not I'm like, that's just covering tax. Amen. What kind of sale is that if you just covering tax and I still got to pay the balance of everything else? Don't get uh, Black Friday's coming. And I always wonder why they call it Black Friday. They all call it Green Friday because they're taking all your money. Folks are standing in line. They, 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 they're going to leave their Thanksgiving dinner. And going to get them a little seat somewhere close by the store because they want to be the first in on Black Friday. Why do you call it Black Friday? I've never been able to understand Black Friday. If anything is a Friday that's going to be that black, I don't want no parts of it. That's, yeah, that sounds gloomy and doomy. Black Friday? Not understand and 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 and, and, and it's going to be some of my church people. Yeah. 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 We been talking about I'm preparing myself for Christmas. I, yeah. 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 I, I'm getting all my goods out the way for Christmas yeah. Yeah. Uh, on a Black Friday. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I'm gonna be there. I'll, I've already told you, if I don't get there by a certain time, <laughs> then I'm gonna send my children over there. They yeah. uh, they gonna be seat squatting. To go in the store to spend money over goods that if you buy for these kids, they only really want one gift, and the rest of them are gonna be there the rest of the year. And even inside Black Friday, there's gonna be somebody that can wind up with a black eye. Oh, y'all act like you don't know what I'm talking about. I have seen the police run into the store because two people had the same thing in their hand and would tug a war over it and because one wouldn't let go, the other one let one go. You know what I'm talking about. Y'all act like y'all don't know what I'm talking about. They wouldn't let go so the other one let one go. And somebody came out with a black eye. Yeah, Black Friday. <laughs> Our riches are not in the things of this world. The things that we have, God gave it to us. But it's nothing in comparison to what He gave us for free. Life. Everywhere we go, we have to pay. Yes, yes. I never dreamt the day it would come that you had to go to the gas station and buy air. Hallelujah. Water Hallelujah. Thank you. I'm, I'm headed that way. <laughs> the earth is three fourths water. This whole earth, this terra firma that we live yeah. on the earth, yeah. three fourths water. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. But we buy water. Yeah. 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 We did just, we did just this thing. Yes, yes. Because of the greed yes. of this world. That's right, that's right. The greed that's so true. of this world. Yes. Yeah. And people get mad when they go to Smart and Finals and they water that they usually got on sale that gone up 10 cents. <laughs> because the world has become so greedy. That's right, that's right. And we have fallen right in place. Church, yes, yes. please yes. value your salvation. Hallelujah. Church, yes. value yes. But God gave to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Church, yeah, yeah, yeah. value your salvation. Don't yeah. let nobody turn you around. Yeah, yeah. Don't let nobody make you feel 
inferior. Yeah. Yeah. Don't let anybody tell you that you nothing. You are something. I said you are something. I didn't have to wait for Jesse to say I am somebody. When the Lord gave me his spirit, I knew that I was somebody. You know what I'm saying? I said when the Lord gave me his spirit, he gave me, he gave me, he gave me his spirit. I knew I was somebody. No longer walking with my head down. I walk around some of these other folks. I don't bow my head. I look them right in the eye. And in my mind's eye, I'm trying to telepathically tell them, you don't really know who I am. You don't know who you're walking next to. You don't even know who you're looking at. I'm somebody. I can look at them and tell when they don't like me and I can do like Jesus and say, Father, forgive them. For they know not what they do. Because if they really knew who they were standing next to, they would ask me one simple question. And that would be, who are you and who do you belong to? And I'd be able to tell them he is the son of David. The seed of Abraham. Stone hewed out the mountain. He is the meek and humble lamb. He died for me one day. When they took him up yonder to God Gotham's hill. Two thieves on either side. And one said, if you are so who you say you are, why don't you get out of this cross and bring me with you. But I'm so glad that the other thief had enough sense to know we are guilty of all of our charges. But it's just one thing I want to ask you. When you come into your kingdom, just remember me. That man knew some riches right there. Even in the midst of a dying city where that without him he could not go. And he just said, I don't want you to take me, but just remember me. And I'm so glad today that the Lord remembered me. When he got into his kingdom, he looked down through the portals of time and said, I'm going to raise up a little boy that is really a miracle child. For many years, my parents were trying to have a baby and my mother couldn't have one. But somebody somewhere laid their hands on her and prayed for my mother. And after praying for my mother, here came I. She conceived me. And the family was amazed because she tried so long. But I'll tell you one thing. It ain't how long you try. It's in the God that you trust. She trusted in the Lord with all of her heart and leaned not to her own understanding. She acknowledged him in all of her ways and he directed her path. And when Jesus died, he started directing our paths. When Jesus died, he was making a way for us. When Jesus died, he was putting money in our deposit. When Jesus died, he was making us wealthy. When Jesus died, he was already setting up our heavenly bank account. When he closed his eyes and dropped his head into the locks of his shoulders and said it's finished. It was finished on this side, but on the other side came joy and speak and full of glory. But I'm so glad that the story didn't end there when they took him off of the cross and put him in a borrowed tomb. When you borrow something, it means you plan to give it back. And he borrowed Joseph from his tomb, but he gave it back because he said, In three days, you can destroy this temple, but I'm going to raise it up. 
just know that that is waiting for us all to make you feel great. Just the thought of knowing. Oh, and I forgot one thing. These bodies won't have to worry about no more Dr. Beans. These bodies won't have to worry about sickness no more. These bodies won't have to worry about migraine headaches. These bodies won't have to worry about cancer. These bodies won't have to worry about high blood, low blood, need a transfusion to get blood. These bodies will be glorified. That's rich. Your steps have been ordered by the Lord. I said your steps have been ordered by the Lord. And guess what? Because he ordered your steps, he delights in them. Um, he delights in them. And you know what I love about that other part of that scripture? Though you fall, you will not be cast down. So if you fall seven times, guess what? Because he's delighted in your steps. He's there to pick you up. See, other folk will look at you and ask why you're down. You should have been watching where you're going. You chill. He was clumsy. Yeah. He don't do that. He just yeah. picked you up. Yeah. But guess what else? After he picked you up, he'll do this. Yeah. And then he'll say, let's keep walking. Y'all yeah. yeah. can say what you want about Peter. Yeah. I have found this one thing. He's the only one in a record the only one that walked on water with Jesus you got to be careful of the folk in the boat always talking why are you doing this you shouldn't do that you can't do that why you do this they in the boat. I'm walking yeah. on water yeah. with Jesus. Yeah. While y'all in the boat, yeah. don't get mad yeah. while I'm walking yeah. on water yeah. with Jesus. Yeah. He will allow you in front of people to walk on impossible things. Yeah. 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 I said impossible things. When people look and say it can't be done and you do it. How you gonna tell me be doing done and I'm doing it. Just because you can't do it, don't mean that I can't do it. While I'm walking and talking with Jesus, you stay on in that boat. And in doing so, those are the steps to your Christian peace. Because as soon as he got on the boat, on the water. Guess what? The winds were still blowing. The waves were still dashing. And the howling of the winds was still there. But he's walking. Which let me know this one thing and I'm through. It don't matter what's going on around you. Keep walking. And then Jesus 
when Peter was sick and had sense enough to say, Lord, save me. Some of us are sick and don't have sense enough to even say, Lord, say, you're a rich to him. I just told you. He delights in walking with you. Your ways please him. If you fall, say, Lord, save me. For he's not willing that any should perish. Any, you, me, them, him, he's not willing that any should perish. Keep walking. Keep walking. And the good news of the gospel is when they, I don't know how, how far, Bishop, they walked. It just said they walked back to the boat. So that meant that Peter had to walk a little ways to get to Jesus. Because they had to walk back to the boat. And when they walked back to the boat, they got in the boat, and then he looks around and just, all right, that's enough. Peace be still. Stop it. Stop it. Waves, sit down. Winds, stop. And then he looked at Peter. Come on, man. What, what, what happened to you? You was doing something that they wouldn't do. But you turned around and listened to the vocal. Keep walking. Keep walking. It's something about walking. You never know what could happen. That's right, that's right. I got Bible for that. Yeah. Enoch so walked with the Lord that he was not. He walked away from his house. And kept walking. Yeah. And he kept walking. Uh -huh. And his house went further in the distance. Yeah. Really? But he was walking. Yeah. Yeah. He walked with God and it was so sweet walking with God. Yeah. 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 I like walking with you. <laughs> Ain't no sense of me going back to all that calamity at home. Yeah. Yeah. Whining kids, angry wife, yeah. disobedient sir. Keep walking. He walked so that he walked right out of time. That's where I want to be with the Lord. He called. I want to be ready to walk. But the only difference, either walk, we get ready to get translated. Be of Jesus. Y'all see y'all don't believe it. You better look at some of the stuff that you said that was gonna be and it isn't right now. I was walking the other day and this lady was walking toward me, coming by me, and she had her watch and she was talking on her watch. And I said, Dick Tracy. Y'all remember? I remember Dick Tracy was in black and white. Yeah, yeah. Before we find out he had a yellow hat and a yellow yeah. trench coat, Nick Tracy was in black and white, and he would call in to the headquarters yeah. on his phone. Yeah. Y'all said that yeah. would never happen. Yeah. It's here. Yeah. You looked at the Jetsons, it was in black and white. Yeah. And you saw them popping something in a, in a little stove called the microwave now. Yeah. You didn't think that was going to happen. We got cars now that's driving themselves. You didn't yeah. think that was going to happen. Yeah. Well, if the Lord said, this book said, yeah. that the Lord himself yeah. is going to descend from heaven with a yeah. shout yeah. and the voice of the archangel yeah. and the trump of God yeah. and the dead in Christ yeah. are going to rise first, then we which are alive and remain will be caught up together yeah. to meet them in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Yeah. That's next. That's how rich we are. Yeah. We're going to be caught up. Yeah. Yeah. For this mortal yeah. must put on immortality. And this corrupt must put on incorruption. And we shall be changed yeah. Yeah. in a moment yeah. and a twinkling of an eye. That's quick. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't say the batting of an eye. He said the twinkle. Have you ever yeah. seen the twinkle? Yeah. Yeah, y'all yeah, see the twinkle. Twinkle, twinkle. Yeah. A little star. Yeah, yeah. How I wonder yeah. what you are. Yeah. Up above. Yeah. The world so high, like a diamond. Yeah. 
in the sky. That was a nursery rhyme, but it's going to be a twinkle, and we're going to be out of here. All right, all right, all right. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes. That's rich. The rich man and all of his riches will not be able to buy his way into heaven. His full one, his T bill, his stocks, his bonds, don't mean nothing. And we that are rich are going to be changed in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye. And we getting up out of here. Bye bye, world. Bye bye world. Yes, yes. That's why I said goodbye, goodbye. We have left this world behind. Yes. We want to stay here anyway. Yes. With all that's going on. Nobody yes. wants to stay here. Yes. Father in Jesus' name, we thank you today. Yes. We bless you and we glorify you. Yes, Lord. Thank you for our riches. Yes. Not with diamonds, not with gold, not with silver, but riches in you. And we thank you that you shed your blood and gave your life that we could be free. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. God bless you. God bless you.